So uh, here's another example. You know, I'd, if I was that homeowner right there, I would just let that grow in trees so you don't have to cut it. But I mean, he's got a little fire pit there. You know, I can understand it, but right next door, that, that's old Eichel Baum's house. He was a millionaire and uh, I cut his grass I think a total of maybe once or twice and he wouldn't pay nothing I mean the guy had millions of dollars he wouldn't pay you in squat and so one day I was cutting that bank right there you know with a push mower I mean you can see that how tough that would be and I stepped right in a yellow jacket's nest and man they came out by the hundreds I think I got stung about eight ten times and I didn't realize that's a life threatening situation all I knew is when I got home and slammed the door because they chased me all the way to my house and uh or mom's house i guess and uh man i was shaking all over uh oh, man that was rough but uh this is another guy this is the most recent house in the neighborhood i thought he did a good job this is kind of how i'd like to lay in a house if i was here in lynchburg you know minimal amount of grass left a lot of trees you know unfortunately he's he's not a trump fan <laughs> anybody but trump i guess he's gonna get kamala harris for president you know that's what the looks like so anyway, I'm just coming into to my mom's street and that'll probably be all the video tape right here, but I did want to tell that yellow jacket story. That was, that was something else. And then that guy didn't pay me any money and he wondered why nobody would cut his grass. <laughs> he would fuss about, I can't get no kids. They don't want to work no more. Well, Sigh, you got to pay them, you know, <laughs> you get what you pay for. All right, and that's the old Wiznut house that we used to wrestle together in high school. And uh, anyway. So this is all new. This is a bridge that they just put in with a little teeny traffic circle. I just kind of wanted to swing around. This is Ivy Creek right here. Uh, that's the creek that flows right by my mom's house. If you can believe that. And uh, this house here, I, <laughs> I don't know how people keep buying it. The, the, every time there's a huge rain, you know, if you get a foot of rain, that house is going to be underwater. And it's been underwater a number of times. I got a car coming. I don't want to get the license plate. They put them on the front and the back here in Virginia. But anyway, uh, we'll continue with some stories once we get a, get these cars out of the way. So this is the road leading up to my mom's house. Got a car coming. Anyway, like I told you in previous videos, my dad said, Kirk, you bring the rain. Well, I remember one instance, uh, I had to park up on the hill and I waded through waist deep water coming down this road to get to the house. You know, I wasn't really thinking, it was that night. So, you know, there could have been snakes in that water, all kinds of stuff. And that was back when they were dumping raw sewage <laughs> into that creek over there, which is right there. And uh, I know I got that film of the Alties house and uh, that was from the seven, you know, back in the seventies, what, what I was talking about when, when we were young and stupid and appropriated that wood. And uh, I'm glad we didn't get caught. I don't know what the penalties would have been, but uh, anyway, but you see that, you know, they live in a really beautiful location here in Lynchburg. Uh, but uh, a lot of a lot of fun in that house I showed you. I mean, I've seen that thing underwater at least three or four times. Now, one previous homeowner, he thought he was going to put a wall up around that house, and he did. He put a huge wall around it to, to channel the water away from the house. But that particular storm was so bad <laughs> that, that the water not only went over the wall, when it went over the wall, it washed out underneath it and just ended up knocking down the whole wall and then flooding that house again. But I tell you, people, you know, my dad, one thing he always told me, Kirk, don't buy in a low area you know always get up on top of a hill and uh, that was sound advice talk to y'all later so i realized i hadn't shown you the house this is the lynchburg house you know uh, a lot of that, that wood i put in up there for them and uh, she had to have some rocks and little landscaping over here which is kind of pretty um but uh, we used to have this huge oak tree right there and uh they finally took it down and i told mom i said you know we need to plant something in this place. No, 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 I don't want anything in this place. I, I said, well, you know, you, you're not gonna get any shade. And what happened was it, that front door without that tree got so hot, the paint just bubbled right off of it. <laughs> and I told her, I said, you know, with no shade, mom, I mean, the house is just gonna cook. Uh, and during the summer, it does get hot here in Lynchburg. But uh, anyway, that's uh, just one quick story. I dad, <laughs> one time, I was asleep in that room over there on the right. And uh, he was up on the roof, and I guess he fell off, and he was hanging on that gutter. <laughs> and he was banging on that window. Kirk, Kirk, Kirk. <laughs> I, I didn't hear him. Finally, he dropped. He fell down to the ground. He didn't break anything, thank God. But uh, he was so mad at me because I, I didn't hear him. You know, I was in the room. But all right. So there it is. The old Alti house. 
back behind there we built a half pipe huge half pipe with some wood that we uh, appropriated from local uh, construction sites I, i'm surprised they never wondered where the wood went <laughs> but, but it went in our half pipe back there and that was a lot of stories in the alti farm a lot of time on the alti farm anyway keep on going so these are what we called the chicken coops <laughs> that they built you know in our neighborhood here this was all just uh, a place for horses and stuff and uh people they that well they moved in and this is the old neil house I, don't, I would get out the car and film it but i think i'd freak some people out you know why are you filming our house but uh in that backyard there's a big hill and we would play uh, road warrior man we get on the bicycles and just run each other down i'm surprised we never broke anything uh anyway this is the old stomping ground the old neighborhood where i grew up uh, back there at peachview park they used to so anyway let's just keep on going all right this is the old neighborhood uh man i tell you i can't imagine how many times we biked up and down this hill and uh anyway right down here before they built that house at the bottom you could just cut through to get over to the neil property over there uh, and there's a creek down here and once upon a time we dammed that up and we caught some fish out of smith mountain lake and uh i mean it was a big big area of water before that house was there and uh, we dammed that up and uh, had a whole huge lake back there for fish and we stocked it <laughs> we, parents let us get away with all kinds of stuff I mean, my brother this is where he came down and he used to have this pug nose and we had a ramp down there at the bottom and he'd come flying down this hill and uh hit that ramp and the bike went up in the air and the front tire went down and he pummeled his face right in <laughs> right into the street oh my god it did some major damage and uh, we never i don't think back then the plastic surgery was an option so his face was uh, always a little messed up before you know he's killed in an auto accident but uh, we're coming up on my old house i'd like i said i would get out but uh, i don't want to freak anybody man boy i tell you look at that that's really grown up huh but that's the porch in the uh, the old house well again kind of nice landscaping there whoops let's get the camera down a little bit uh now back in here they built an apartment complex but we used to play back in here and we had tree houses and everything else it was really cool and then uh, this was Tracy's old house. This was a girl I had a crush on. And she never, she never looked at me twice. <laughs> but, but anyway, so I just kind of thought I'd show you the old area. And of course, skateboarding, man. I mean, not skateboarding, sledding. Oh man, when it snowed up here and as kids, you know, you get on this hill and you just go flying down here, you know. And uh, I, I hit a tree in the backyard back there and kind of messed myself up. Uh, and uh, boy, I, there was just so many things as kids that we did that were just plain stupid but back and that was how they, they kept watch on the kids the kids would just roam the neighborhood and and the parents would call and say hey they're at our house or we saw them going this way and we saw them going that way there was no no supervision other than phone calls and back then all you had was landlines oh well, that's enough <laughs>